During the third quarter of the 18th century, there was a plethora of smaller pieces of furniture being made for the rising middle classes. And this is a prime example of a small, exquisite piece of furniture. And when you look at it, it is so pretty. And it, it was an expensive piece of furniture to begin with. The reason why, it's made of mahogany, but it's all beautifully veneered in hairwood. And hairwood is related, is part of the sycamore family. And to find a hairwood piece of furniture like this is extremely rare and unusual. And I can attribute this to one of the leading cabinet makers in London at the time, and that was Inson Mayhew. They had a standing of excellence. And what's being portrayed here is excellence in every way in fine cabinet making. So the body itself, as I say, is mahogany, then veneered in hairwood. Um, the finer details are such as this. It's all cross-banded around the top and around the doors and it's everywhere in Paduk. So you've got this timber which has come over from China. And that was a very rare wood. And in St Mayhew often used Paduk wood. When we look at the top section here, we have these two little, they look like little handles from the distance. But if you look closely, they're all beautifully cross hatched in this very, very fine pen work. And then we have these wonderful little beads. They're like little pearls going around. And then on top of that, we have this marquetry work of these laurels and the leaves are all beautifully contorted. And if you look very closely, you can see little berries. And I would imagine those berries would have been dyed um, red, possibly by cochineal. So you've got this lovely red colour. And so you've got all these contrasting colours. And then when we come down to the doors, again, hairwood all cross-banded in Paduk, and then we have this lovely large oval. And this time we have laurels, and you can still see the green uh, where the pen work is on the laurels here. And then in the centre, you have this big oval of Amboina. Again, that's a typical material which Inter Mayhew were using at the time in the 18th century. The thing, hole is standing on a small little sabre legs and they're edged in boxwood. But we have this decoration all throughout. I mean, the decoration is absolutely superb. Along the frieze here, there's a tiny little drawer edged in boxwood and mahogany lined. Above the drawer, we have uh, a bow fronted cupboard and inside the cupboard, we have a single shelf. The single shelf has been replaced. And the doors are in, have these two um, metal pieces here. Now, when you see these catches, 18th century catches are always have square pins. So when you see these catches, if the pins are circular, or not square like this, they're either later copies or they're 19th century. Again, this is all mahogany. And, to, and look how thick the mahogany is. Mahogany was very, very expensive and to veneer a piece of mahogany was true extravagance. We ask ourselves, now what is this little piece of furniture? Because it's, it's so tiny, it's so exquisite. Now I'm going to show you. If we lift this up here, like so. This is mahogany and this is all um, boxwood. And again, we lift this other piece of mahogany here. So as we lift these two triangles, we now realise the piece is a corner washstand. And the idea that these pieces came up is to stop the, um, so when you're washing, stop the wall from being marked. And inside there would have been a bowl. I would most probably thought the bowl here would have been silver. 
but it could have been ceramic. So you'd have had a silver bowl, and so as you're washing, you don't want to mark the walls, so that's why these were here. Left and right, we have two little um, mahogany dishes, which are original. So when it wasn't being used, say these fold down, but I just want to show you something at the side. And again, this is something which a cabinet maker had been very aware of, is that when this is the bowl's full of water, it would have been quite heavy and could be leaning forward. So he's devised a little catch at the back. So this would have been, um, there would have been a little eyelet and this hook would have gone into the wall for the eyelet to stop the whole thing from falling forwards. So again, the cabinet maker is aware of how this item is going to be used, this little corner washstand. And as I say, that, these were here so the wall didn't get marked in any way. And when it wasn't being used, these fold down like so, so the whole thing is so beautifully discreet. Again, we have this lovely oval of Amboina, and then you've got the uh, hairwood, and then the cross banding of Paduke. Um, and between the Paduke and the hairwood, you have ebony and boxwood running all the way round. Now, let's say, now I can't wax lyrical how good this piece of furniture is. It is extremely rare. The condition is superb. And, you know, if you're buying or collecting pieces of furniture, you buy the best you can. And this is as good as they get. This is an exquisite piece. And, say, the condition is, is, is marvellous. Unfortunately, in St Mayhew, very seldom signed that furniture. You just knew that pieces of furniture by the quality which was being excelled. And this is being excelled in huge amounts. I say by the quality of the timber and the timber chosen and how it's beautifully balanced.